Mm, right, south, south, south. No, we need to go there and jump there. Rather go here. bed here. Tattered litter and a pouch. Mother, father, I'm learning so much under the great Hanag. I can't say it has been easy. Hanag is harsh mistress, and as you know, I can be pr prone to error, but where elemental sciences are concerned, nobody can compare to her. I hope to be home in time to make the harvest plentiful for you. All my love, Quidian. The hatch here is right. It probably the house is an alternative way to get in here. You don't have to fight the magisters, but you can still get uh, through even if you don't have the permission slip. Nothing particularly interesting.
Okay, stuff, but nothing particularly interesting. The place seems to exist to just bypass the barricade. Is he a point to us using it? <laughs> Where are we? Right, not quite sure uh, what the previous section of this is, but the game crashed. Not a, not the hard type of a big crash but still crash. This type of crash is pretty typical in every game if you play long enough. The thing is we I already had started a fight there and it crashed. I, I'm not sure if I want to leave it in the previous session and recording because it went on for some time and it now it's all, all wasted. So it's, it's just a huge uh, probably about 30 minute fight that goes nowhere at this point so might as well just ignore it for now. Uh, basically, this is going to be a big showdown then. And we don't want anything fire related in our party. As much of anything else pretty much though. Same goes for all of them. Uh, as much as bliss as we can get, for example, this is gonna be pretty much worthless. If we're lucky, we might be able to avoid some sort of fight, but I think a uh, fight of some type is coming our way, and there's no getting around that in fact. My crippling blow isn't gonna be that useful. Hail strike might be. Don't think the uncanny evasion is gonna do as much good. Rain might do good. Oil isn't gonna do a goddamn thing. Bless might. Oh, we could take a proper attack spell. Right. Uh, we're going to be getting to a. Three to four way fight in there, depending on how things happen. I'm wondering what exactly should we take? Would this chain lightning really be all that useful? We could only cast it once, but it forks quite a bit, so it's a it's a good attack spell, really to use to weaken things. At the same time, a lot of this is sort of line wor borderline worthless. Not quite, but still. Yeah, oil is worthless, but um, this guy doesn't really have any other useful abilities anyway. And I certainly don't want to mix poison into the mess we already have. However, Bless is another matter. Every time we have to fight against Voidlings, it's just a gigantic clusterfuck of all curse this and that. So if we could bless some of it away at key look key timing, that would be great. Enhance exchange vitality percentages. No. Alright, I'm gonna start fight uh, saving in the middle of that particular fight. I have to. It takes too long. Don't toy with me, sorcerer. 
You know where your mistress is, and I know you know it. I don't know where her nag's gone. I tell you if I did, I swear on my father's grave. Oh, he swears. Did you hear that, everyone? He swears. Why, that's almost as good as a pinky promise. The white man swiftly pivots towards you and draws his blade. You recognize his face at once. He's Gareth's friend, Jonathan. Did you come for the show, woman? Good timing. The interrogation scene is over, so we're almost at the climax. Right, I first time I did the persuasion path uh, successfully and it leads to a fight. The uh, only end result is that uh, Quidian Rins is uh, free from this position at the end of it. So I want to try the other path. Tell Jonathan to stand down. He owes you and Gareth his life. A flash of humanity softens Jonathan's granite face, but just for a moment. He chuckles and pokes the inside of his cheek with his tongue. Gareth is a good man, loyal. He'd sacrifice his own life if it meant keeping his conscience clear. It's why he was never a proper fit for the new order. He'd rather be good than right. The sorcerer fidgets, and you notice a thin dagger resting in his palm. He slices away a bit of rope, then looks at you, eyebrows raised. Yeah, this is the same path, really, at this point. Uh, the conversation options are different, though. Stall for time. He would betray Gareth after all they've been through together. I like Gareth. Really, I do. But he took his path and I took mine. I know what I see. I see a world burning. And it's sorcerers lighting the fires. The other path requires you to pass a successful persuasion check to get to this point. If you mention Gareth, you get to this directly without any kind of a skill check. When I see the flame, I'm putting it out. I've got the problem hanging over there. He wiggles his unsheathed blade as if it were a child's toy. And I'm holding a quick and easy solution. The hanging sorcerer winks at you and cuts another segment of rope. He'll soon be free. Uh, keep distracting the white magister. Is that an order issued sword he wields? Well, it's... His eyes narrow. What are you playing at? The White Magister spins on his heels, just as the Hanging Sorcerer breaks free of his bond. A plot twist! <laughs> I love it! Keeps things interesting! Damn you! Damn all of you! Now the shit begins. There's maybe about a handful of boy uh, Magisters here, but most of the enemies are Boydlings. And then there's gonna be another way, and another, and one after that, so this is gonna be a long fight. Uh, the problem I have with this is we, we probably should minimize the amount of fighting we do with the actual Magisters, and let them uh, also fight the Voidlings. Also, control is important. We need to try to prevent them from spreading the oil and the inevitable fires that start at some point, because it's gonna be... It's gonna be basically cursed oil all over the place in an oil field. So it's gonna be bad, super bad. Hmm. Uh, not sure I should do anything yet. We could summon a distraction, holy blob. Uh, more or less, we would want to prevent him from climbing up. I don't want to initiate the fighting against them. So let's just wait and see what happens. Yeah. This was to be expected. fight as far away from uh, this location as possible. So, so the summons might be able to act as distractions. 
But the moment this spoiling dies, it'll uh, curse everything, all, all surfaces around it. With oil, it means if you move in it, it'll explode. So, it's gonna be a pain to ass. Uh, I think we have two teleportation abilities we might be able to use. I can get two guys out of here. Uh, that is it. Nether Swap. He's the more troublesome, so I need to get rid of him. Uh, another one is you. Just want them to have better targets to focus on. Not sure what the Magister Knight is gonna do. We're just going to have to wait and see. Also, going to start raiding already. I want to have a set surface here before the oil arrives. Yeah, it's all cursed oil now. They'll do the oils will do earth damage. Uh, there's another variation that will only do fire damage. Yeah, and you you just can't stop the fire from igniting from some place. You have uh, abilities, weapons, maybe some sort of an armor you have. There's just so many. So sooner or later you're gonna have the fire. And I'm going to start saving because there's a, at least a risk that things will crash. I'm not sure you can do all that much. Um, not sure we should do all that much. Normal fire. Probably curse fire at this point. It's curse fire. And I doused the curse by raining blood. No, no, no. It was hellfire that was affected by blood. We need to bless that. We want to get rid of it. There's another way to do it, though. Global cooling. Fire spreads. Mm. 
Right, and a new section of uh, oil voidlings. By more dear oil voidlings this time. Uh, less. Just want to place the goddamn fire. I'll yield to none. Won't quite heal. That's something we can deal with. Looking good for the most part. I'm gonna ignore the Magister Knight as long as possible. Anyone need a heal? Uh, not really, but we could certainly use some uh, armor frost. Turn. Let's see what the enemy does. Yeah, the burning spreads. We need to douse the fire before they curse it again. Uh, Jonathan is. Gone, there's no getting around with that. Yeah. Probably cursed again. Yeah, now he's cursed because you idiots attacked him. Is it? Oh, what the fuck were you doing? Yes, yeah, necrofire now. You, the dumb son of a bitch, went and attacked them with a physical attack. Might be wasting my time, but. Uh, Hard to say. I'd be able to swap this away. Yeah, this is gonna explode sooner or later, so let's start the sooner part here. Yeah, they'll spread the oil and the one one the up now it ignites. Everything ignites now. And it's the worst type of fire too. And we want more of it as much as possible. might douse this particular fire. I'm not too worried about the necro fire itself. It is certainly troublesome but it can also be tanked through the magic shell.
He's cursed by cursed uh, eyes now, though. The oil voidlings will die quickly in the fire. Mm, we don't really have good options left here. We'll just have to beat the shit out of them. has changed again a little bit but not in a bad way probably kill the oil voidly right overall in a fairly good spot Need more action points to use the better spells, so save points. You can't really do anything. Three hundred points of uh, earth damage with a single strike. Yeah, I think the oil sort of can seem uh, like a decent idea at this point because you have a lot of oil creatures coming your way. It is not. It is a terrible, terrible idea. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Are you... Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted. Petrification. Too all tight here, you can manage it. No, you cannot manage it. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do then? Save points, I guess. Uh, we can throw grenades, I'm not sure if this is a good time to start throwing them though. I hate that they run around in this shit. Just attack the guys next to you. No, he wants to come here for some reason. And he's petrified now. Yeah, I have no goddamn clue what you're thinking, people. How do you feel about Venom? Yeah, I'm sort of thinking Venomous Aura. Something to add to the damage. Can't I target that guy, please?
Okay, now the oil creatures are starting to die out. You, you also need to die out. Switch it for a item or even a corpse. Nothing's corpse. Right, you need to die. Not sure what's the best way to kill you. Heal maybe. Right. I'll take quite a few turns to restore my teleportation abilities. Yeah, now comes the new section, fire boilings. Shit. They'll be healed by the fire, and they'll spread the necromatic fire too. This is the stage where it crashed the first time. I'm not sure what's a good way to try to handle this. Uh, They do 100 points of fire damage per hit. At least the oil ones are sort of being chipped away at this point. Right, say we've got to do something. Uh, let's try moving the fire away a little bit. Still oil boilings here. Fire boilings have significant shields also, they're much harder for me to try to suppress. Global cooling. As much cold abilities we can muster. Doesn't really matter who we attack though. Oil boiling is irrelevant. Down, but they'll knock you down. The 
the primordial oil voidling. I think we should want to spread, spread about a little bit here. Knockdown failed. Okay, could I move a little bit? Like teeny weeny little bit. Don't fall down shit. Uh, crippling the target might not be a horrible idea here. He's killing himself, I don't understand why. Because he wanted to curse me so bad. I don't get it. Uh, we're starting to get our teleportation abilities back. He can heal his vitality to full, but not his shields. Do we want to spend any more extra abilities? I think so. That's a lot of cursed water and ice here. If we just chill it, it's uh, troublesome for the fire, fire board. Right? Yeah, they, they're. Uh, I think they're fighting each other because of the healing thing. At least to some extent. The oil and the fire voidling seem to be enemies, though. So. Probably because they they're technically attacking each other through the huge amount of fire going on all around here. Right, but we have to keep in mind we need physical attacks to take down the fire boardings. At the same time, I don't really want to rush in here and try to get something done. We just need to suppress them to some extent. Then uh, tackle them in smaller groups. This curse fire, yes. Try a bless. Sure, it would really do all that much good though. They're, they're gonna re establish it pretty much immediately. Big boiling down. Ooh, and you are killing a fire boiling. Thank you very much. Ah, we need a new bone widow. No. Uh, we might be able to rain blood here. It could cause things to go worse for them. We can shield the blood.
Someone's going to have to go in there and start doing some real damage. Miss! Ugh. all that much. We should try to attack their shields a little bit. The biggest target would be here though. But I'm not sure I want to hit that. The situation is fairly good there now. Here it wouldn't do all that much good. Still, they can't recover their shields, they can recover their health only, or vitality only. Also, let's see if we can uh, ease the situation with the cursed fire again. There's enough distractions that the Necrofire might not be re-established for a couple of turns. So we might have a opportunity and opening to douse the fire for a while. The oil boiling is irrelevant. I was hoping his ass is gonna freeze. That way he'll stay out of trouble. Uh, that's it. I'm going to see if I can... No, this is which... surfaces. So we're going to... put some cursed fire under their ass. Uh, not cursed fire. Fire, but cursed water. Mm, decaying. Mm. Not good, not bad. I'll be able to chloroform one of you, son of a bitch. It also pressed him a little bit, but that's all it'll do. Nice state. Ah, right. What can we do? We can do some ice attacks. Probably should. Actually, healing might do damage at this point. Ah, but it. Uh, no, no, no. It wouldn't do that much, really, anyway. Let's see if we can free some of their asses. One frozen, one doesn't give a crap. Basic attack is pretty much as good as it's gonna get. We have the one uh, sandwich fairly well. It has the benefit that he can't move in the fire to heal itself. Thank you. 
Why can't I switch these? This is in a fairly weak condition. I'm hoping if I, if I bring her it closer, I might be able to kill it. There's also not too much fire here, so uh, might actually be enough to kill him. Things are uh, starting to wind down here. One's dead. Yeah, there's a couple of of them, but the the, the big ones are about to be destroyed. The oil ones can't simply attack. There's too much fire here. He's gonna get frozen. No, he attacked. Excellent. Attack two. Save. Mm. And just shine. How the hell is that target too far away? Another one gone. Poison damage is helping here. Quite nice. There's one son of a bitch here. We're mostly just waiting what's gonna happen. Global cool. Um, no. Where exactly with this even here? You can't really see all that much, so mostly here. Ah, uh, not that good. One need heals, really. That's decaying. That's dead. That's fairly easy to kill. Immune to shield. We killed quite a few of them. There's like two left anymore, and they're both weaklings. Right, teleportation should be good at this point. Why avoidling? This guy is pretty much worthless, don't care what he does. Please attack his spells! That doesn't really matter. Important thing is he's decaying, so I can just use healing abilities to get rid of it. Probably does. I'm going to. No, 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 no. 
I'm gonna dump some water on the other one too. Well, that didn't work out. anything but get out of fire and wait. You rain cold upon them. Frozen. You need something? No. of source. You'd give Hanag a run for her money. He pauses a moment, and the amazement fades from his face. On your way here, did you... did you see my family, by chance? My aunt and uncle, my cousins, little Henrik? Uh, tell him you know his family and they're waiting for him, but not all of them made it. Not all of them? Gwydion exhales slowly, evenly. I must go to them. The sorcerer waves goodbye, revealing the rope burns on his wrist from where he'd been bound and hanged. Don't burn to death. That's a lot of burning. Yeah. I think he'll be fine. He has thousand hit points. Necrofire might last some time, but it, it'll it'll go away. <sighs> right. Could I sort of see something? And there was much rejoicing. Didn't crash a second time. Still, nice little fight. Slime. Well, I'm not sure what purpose that serves, so I might as well just pick it up and see. Doesn't look like we're getting all that much of it, though. Dominate mind. Unidentified ring? I'll just pick the shit up. We'll uh, go through it after everything's loaded. Uh, why is that flickering? It has been killed through electricity, probably. Again, if you have fire immunity, earth immunity, these things are pretty much incapable of doing damage to you, they'll just heal you. So, a tough fight, but you have ways to deal with that. Also the fact that the teleportation pyramids are in this game allows you to use the various tactics. You can bail out on a fight if you really, really want to. To a more tactically advantageous position, uh, but it's clear to me that you you really need to be able to do both damage types. Uh, otherwise, you are certainly gonna have much more difficulties. 
I, I wouldn't go so far as say you, you absolutely have to have them. But you benefit greatly to, to at, with at least some ability to switch between the magical and physical combat. Uh, we also, one difference for the first fight, uh, I, I spread the fight here a little bit, so got these to take the uh, fight against the Voidlings. Because once anything comes close enough here out of that fight, these uh, people also join in. So that's a tactical situation you could take advantage of. However, they're hostile to you, so it doesn't really benefit you. It just gives you another distraction from the Voidlings. But if you manage things properly, you could probably get them to fight each other. Right, let's see what we got. And I think I'll probably pretty much end here because, well, maybe not. I, I was thinking of adding the uh, crashed video added to this, but a uh, large of it is a uh, large part of it is just a fight that basically goes nowhere and it's in the crash. I have to restart, so there's no point doing that. What could this line be used for? I don't know. We'll find out. Jonathan's ring. This ring once belonged to a white magister called Jonathan and imbues its wearer with an impressive cloak and of magical armor. Bow of I don't care. It's a bow after all. Uh, strength boots. Uh, initiative and hit points. Vastly superior to what we have. So, yeah, you have a level 8 boots, you have a level 6 boots. They give haste. And you have actually good defenses already, so you get them. Pyrokinetic, 100 hit points. You are the only one with pyrokinetic abilities. Yeah, I think I'm going to dump the pyrokinetic one, summoning one, in favor of a more mage armor. Hmm. Dominate mind requires summoning two, no one has it. Magical dwarven staff, telekinesis, ignite surfaces, melt surfaces. Ines boots. Hmm, let's say they're better. Mainly because the current ones are sort of terrible. Three amulets. Geomancer and Perseverance, 60 magic armor. Seventy five. Uh, let's see what the others are. Large rock rune. 60 Scoundrel Arrow Thurge Impalement 60 Bartering Leadership and It could be useful, especially the bartering Otherwise I wouldn't really bother Leadership Lucky Charm Lore Master mm. and This has the same leadership Intelligence Geomancer Telekinesis. At least this would have more magic armor and plus one the scoundrel, so it would benefit us more. We would lose some medium venom room though. Right, it's it's okay stuff, but uh, not 
better in such a clear manner that I would uh, switch it in. Okay, this was a uh, oil rig. That's probably another one. Although it doesn't look exactly the same. Medicerp trolls. Uh, yeah, I think uh, maybe that could have been a cause of the crash too. I suppose the fact that I the fir at first attempt I started to spread the fight. It's a possibility. It complicates things. It adds to factors that wasn't uh, intended to be included in initially. Something to consider, at the very least. Mm, this looks like it's blocked. I spotted something. Last of the heroes, blue. Rubbish clay skin. Good one. Fisha's helm. Earth resistance and warfare. It's not bad. Huntsman pyrokinetic. You literally have no benefit from that. So this would be a slight improvement on you. Trumpet of Death. The mushroom. Uh, probably want to switch our skills back a little bit. Less usually isn't all that useful. Mm, although, this we're still in the oil field, so nothing has fundamentally changed that. We might have to encounter similar fights in the future. Which reminds me, we probably should have just a eat up some of the corpses while we were at it. Restore our sores. Rather devour the void links than the people. Right. We can at least explore the rest of the areas here. It doesn't look like there's anything particularly interesting. One structure, maybe a couple of people to talk to. Beach turtle. The wizened old turtle peers up at you inquisitively as she makes her slow, slow path across the beach. Smells good, eh? Smells so good. Can you smell it? Say that you smell oil. Is that what she means? Silly. Silly. I mean the rich, warm, red smell 
of raw meat. Quartermistress Anna, saint of a woman, sometimes throws me some food. Dinner. Now, I smell so much in that building over there. I can hear it too, covered with flies. My favorite adds a bit of crunch. Tell her you made some odd turtles in Fort Joy. She going to turn Void Woken too? Void Woken turtles? Oh dear me. No. No. That wouldn't be my style at all. But each to their own. I say, we're all odd in our own ways. Look at you. A guard woken hanging out on the beach talking to a turtle. What's that all about? The turtle nods her head sagely and tremulously turns to resume her dignified procession towards dinner. No. Building full of corpses. Sounds like we might be interested in that. Uh, there aren't that many people. Ooh, that's a hostile. That's a hostile. That's three curse. Hmm, that's not a problem. Void vampirism can get rid of them. But if I do that. It knows your own camp, but watch it. The docks are restricted. Even I'm not allowed down there. If you come back bleeding, don't say I didn't warn you. So, they're docks. Uh, I guess I can see a ship there. Is it sunken ship? It is not. It is uh, an actual ship. Uh, but everyone's dead. Multi store building. Looks like trouble ahead. The divine order kind of trouble. Yeah, there's only one guard. Should I even make a big deal out of this? I mean, I could easily kill the guy. And it's not like he's going to go too far from this place, so I'm sure I can uh, not kill him. At the same time, the Watchers are only guarding specific parts, so I could bypass them too. That's not, not much of a problem, in fact. But that might allow me to dodge some of the trouble. I doubt it, though. I, I, I think it's going to just start in a different manner. Also, I'm not quite sure why I'm insisting on some trouble here. A couple of Balak Ring members. Right. I think we would want to go to Black Pit Caves then first. Because I, I don't see us going in there without just trying to kill everything. Because the moment we do something about the Shriekers, it's likely going to trigger hostilities with the rest. Although we can sort of test that. Yeah, the, this is too low range. We would have to use the Source Wand. I can do it, but I, this is not necessary to do it. That's why I'm sort of reluctant. We might have other situations like this where just going around them is not an option. Okay, I'm leaning toward ending things here, but going to the caves first if we can. 
might as well test that. If we can't, then the path is clear. I have to go to the docks. If for nothing else to find out what the hell is going on. Can I enter? Doesn't look like there's an opening. There's an opening. I'm on the right track. That tablet Riker wants has to be close. A lot of cursed oil, right? Mines, double explosions. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to hold on to our current set of abilities. We will need to get rid of some of the curses here and there. Oh, and he's re-established the cursed oil. 